Hello everybody. Today I would like to show you a quick demo about the recent issue we found with data pump exports when you try to create an export in a 12.1 database having the April or July 2018 bundle patches and try to import into a non-April or non-July 12.102 database. So first of all, before I really can demo that, I create a simple test user here, Hugo, in my example. So I create Hugo and give Hugo the right privileges. And Hugo needs some data because then we can export something useful. So Hugo gets three tables here. And once the three tables are created, I create also a directory, which I pre-created on the operating system already, that's important and give Hugo the right privileges on this directory to use it as the export import directory for data pump. Now before we go into details, I would like to show you which patches are applied on my system. So I prepared this check patches script and the latest patch I applied is the April 2018 bundle patch. So this got released on 17th of April, I applied it two days later, and this is the patch ID, and we will need this patch ID later on. Now what I would like to do is, on the terminal window, I will run an export, regular export, and export these three tables. And afterwards, I'll do a second export with one difference, I scroll to the right a bit. I will add the version 12.1 parameter and I'll demonstrate you later on why this is so important. So let's go here to the terminal window and my environment is set. DB12 sets my environment and I do now an export. Just a regular export for three tables, nothing special here. Lock time all, always set, exclude statistics as usual. And you see, export Hugo, OBJ, top and user tables are exported. And I move this a bit broader so we see a bit more. So this was the first export completed here in 11 seconds, all fine. And now I will do a second one. And the only difference, as I explained before, is the version parameter here. And we will see later why this is so important. So it takes also approximately 10 to 15 seconds. And now we have the three tables again. Second time usually is faster or same time. 11 seconds again. Okay, all perfect. So I have two export files now. All good. What I would like to do is now I shut down my database. I deinstall the April bundle patch. And then I will show you what happens when we try to import the two dumb files into my 12.102 database. So open secret plus, or shut down, shut down immediate, because in order to deinstall a patch, my database needs to be shut down. Takes a few seconds. The database is shutting down, down now, oops. What I will do now is I call opatch. I use the 18 opatch, but that works perfectly fine with the 12.1 and the 12.2 environments. Only for 11.2, you need a different one. And I say opatch rollback, and the ID is the patch ID I showed you before here. So when we quickly go to the SQL developer, this patch ID here is the corresponding one here, patch ID in my patch script. So I will kick this off. And after checking a few things in the inventory, it will ask me in a few seconds if my system is ready for patching. System is ready for patching, so I say yes. And then the rollback of the patch starts. This may take now 15 to 20 seconds or something like that. Goes pretty quickly. The admin is where it takes the longest. And once it is completed, the patch is binary-wise removed from the Oracle home, so all fine. But this is just half of the story because I need also to invoke data patch verbose and data patch verbose will now also return the SQL changes which got introduced 
with this bonding patch already burst and not return it. So it removes it now from the inventory. So my inventory is fine as well afterwards. And as soon as all patch is done, I can restart my database. In order to run data patch, I need an open database because otherwise SQL changes can't be applied to the database. So database should be up in a few seconds. Database is up now. Now I run the same again, the 18 old patch, data patch verbose. And data patch verbose will now connect me to my DB12 dot on local database and will now reverse the SQL changes which came in with the April bundle patch. This will take a few more seconds. That's a non CDB here, so it needs to be run only in one database, not in other containers or db seed or whatever. Makes it a bit faster, but still may take a few seconds until it completes. So it checks the current state right now. And here you see the following patches will be rolled back. There is bundle patch, April 2018. Nothing to apply. Okay, all patches fine. All is good. I probably need to reconnect now with the SQL developer. Reconnect. Yes, of course, that's good. And once the SQL developer is back again, I will check now again the patches in my database. So here you see difference roll back today 13th of July, Friday the 13th. <laughs> the June patch and Friday the 13th are uh, patch ID removed. All good. So that's what I wanted. Now I would like to import the data again. And before I import, I better drop the tables. Makes more sense. Otherwise the import will give me errors. So tables are gone. And I will start now the import of the file number one here and the file number two. So I go back to my command line window. I'll try to import now. And first of all, I use my first import dump file. This is the Google tables number one DMP. Nothing special here. But the problem is, as you see, we receive an error. Or a 39142 incompatible version number for the Turing dump file. This is credited to a silent regression which came in with the April and July bundle patch, which changes in the background the compatibility version of data pump dump file from 4.1 to 4.2. That's why I created the export a second time before with version equals 12.1, and that is the easiest workaround. So I run this now for the underscore two file, and you'll see now my three tables get imported. So the workaround actually, to not run into that issue, is very simple. You add to your uh, XPP, you add this version equals 12. And when you do this, then you can import into a 12 one database, which doesn't have the bundle patch of April or July. If they have the April and July bundle patches, there's no issue for you actually, if you are consistent all over your landscape. But if you're not, then this is the easiest way. The other option would be to apply a single patch and I refer to the upgrade block to the article and this guides you to the single patch you may apply as well. So thanks for your attention. And that was just a quick demo showing you an issue we recently came across and we deeply apologize for that. Thanks and bye-bye.